Wilno, Ontario is located in the Rocky Hills in the western part of the valley. The community has the distinction of being Canada's first Polish settlement. When immigrants came to the area in the 1850s, they brought with them a rich Polish heritage and a deep religious tradition. To satisfy their strong need to pray, early settlers erected large wooden crosses at the intersection of main roads. On Sundays, pioneers would gather at the crossroads and celebrate their faith. In 1936, residents built St. Mary's Cathedral to serve as the religious hub for the Polish community. The Wilno Tavern has been the cultural and social centerpiece of this village for over 115 years. Formerly named the Exchange Hotel, this establishment has been serving customers since 1890. I've owned the tavern since 1981. The uh, original uh, building was constructed somewhere prior to 1890. Initially, people came and, and settled here. They were, there was free land and that's what drew most of the Irish. In the winters, most of the men went into the logging camp up towards Algonquin Park uh, to supplement their income. And when the railroad came through in the 1890s to service the logging uh, camps, then that became an industry as well. The hotels became the hub of, of the connection with the railroad. This one here in, in Wilno, mm -hmm. it was originally known as the Exchange Hotel. Mm -hmm. They were built opposite the railroad station in order to accommodate the people that were using the railroad in order to, uh, for business and for just general transportation. Wilno, Ontario is a vibrant community that seems to be a magnet for artists and musicians. When you explore this intriguing village, it's like stepping into an eclectic and sometimes surreal masterpiece. Perhaps the most famous celebration is the Tuesday Night Blues Jam that draws some of the area's best musicians. It started as a very, very loose Tuesday night jam um, without any expectation that there would be uh, any, even any audience. They just wanted a place that they could, uh, they could meet. Wilno's most celebrated artist, poet and musician is Barney McCaffrey. Barney moved from New York City to Wilno in the 1960s. He's a living legend in the area and loves to sing and tell stories about the history of the tavern. Why is it called the Exchange Hotel? Because people used to get off at the railroad station and exchange the train for the stagecoach, which would take them down to Rockingham and to Palmer Rapids and that. It was, um, it was actually put together by a railroad worker who came through uh, when the, the old uh, J.R. Booth Railroad was being built and he fell in love with a skibo girl from <laughs> Wilno. The granddaughter came up all about 12, 15 years ago, and she brought that picture inside, and she told this story that uh, I thought was really great. He was a dynamiter on the railroad. He found out that he couldn't keep his beer cold, right? So he had to blow out the basement. So being a good dynamiter, since he couldn't close up, he bought everybody drinks, and he blew <laughs> <laughs> Blew out the cellar while everybody was upstairs drinking, and they said he never knocked a drink off the bar. <laughs> so that, you know, that was the story of that. I wrote a song about that called Slomitsky's Blast, but I haven't done it in a while. I don't know if I can remember it. Right? I like to write story songs, and that's what I do a lot, and I like the songs about the area. Coming from New York City, uh, you, you got roots here, and you want to try and keep those roots alive. So really, my early influences were, uh, were jazz and blues and country. And then I had a country band when I was 16, and a country band in New York was strange. Folk didn't come until much later. Some of the folk musicians started coming around to our country band. And then, of course, I got into going to Gurdon's Folk City. I've seen Bob 
villain backing up a little girl from West Virginia, you know, and he was just put out his first record, you know, it wasn't a big thing then. And um, I toured Europe with an accordion on my back after I got out of the Navy to four years in the U.S. Navy Air. Uh, when I couldn't stand the stupidity of the whole thing, and it's only gotten worse. But then my next big influence was international music, sure. because I learned 16 languages singing, when I, and I'm up to 24 now. Wow. I'm hoping to put out an album either this year or next, it's already recorded, called Around the World and Back to Wilno. And, uh, it just draws people, the magic of the mountains and, the, you know, the, the tolerance and welcoming of the people. What do we got? We got 200 people here, we've got three art galleries, we've got two bar restaurants, uh, live music five, six nights a week uh, uh, during the summer. Um, you know, like I, like I say, the, the local people with their, their whole thing of, you know, they know how to party. Dynamite sticks and then he lit the fuse. And upstairs they heard the bangs and the booms, but never a bottle they didn't. Play.